Hey, welcome back to your favorite fundamentals of college math class. We're going to look at measures of dispersion. Uh, specifically, we're going to determine the range for data set and then talk about the standard deviation. So the range of a data set, that's the highest value minus the lowest value. That's it. So Honolulu's hottest day is 89. It's coldest day is 61. It's range in temperature is 28 degrees subtract those two here's a figure showing the age of the four oldest u.s presidents the range for the four oldest presidents would be the highest one should be trump at 70 years old minus the youngest of the four oldest which should be buchanan at 65. so our range here is five years the age in range five years all right, standard deviation. So this is a measure that quantifies the amount of variation or dispersion of a set of data values. This is what you want to remember. It's the average deviation from the mean. The average deviation from the mean. Okay, so that's what it means when I like when I'm giving you uh, test results back or whatever. If I give the mean and the standard deviation, that's the average deviation or difference from the mean. It means it's by average. Okay, so here's your uh, standard deviation formula, a lot of the times you'll see it written like this, the square root of the summation of the data item minus the mean quantity squared all over n minus 1. So again, that's sum. You're going to sum up this number. The data item minus the mean, so the square of that and sum up all of those and then divide it by here's our number of number of data items okay and so you've got the you got the steps to doing that and i'll walk you through here with an example find the deviations from the mean you know what what, what we're going to do here is not only we're going to find the deviation but let's just go ahead and find this Deviation. We'll go through and include finding the deviation. Find the standard deviation for the four data items: 70, 69, 68, and 65. So number one, what you want to do is you want to find your mean first. We're going to need that. So you go 70 plus 69 plus 68 plus 65, all divided by looks like there's four numbers, and this ends up being 68. Looks like. And then number two. What we're going to do is we're going to create a little table, okay? Because remember, this is the equation of our standard deviation, the square root of the summation of the data item minus the mean, so that deviation there squared, all over n minus 1. And by the way, this is the standard deviation for a population. There's actually two standard deviations. This is the one we're, we're using the standard deviation for a population. There's also standard deviation for a sample. And the only difference is instead of n minus 1 on the bottom, you have an n on the bottom. Okay. So let's go ahead and put in our data items. And then we'll find the difference between the data item and the mean, so the deviation. And then we'll square that number. Okay. So here's our data item 70, 69, 68. 65. So we're going to take the 70 and we're going to subtract it from the mean. Mean, remember the mean 68. So we get 2. And we'll take this 69 data item minus the mean. We get 1. And we'll take the 68 minus the 68. We'll get 0. There's no deviation there. Then we go 65 data item minus the mean 68, we get negative 3. And then what we're going to do is we're going to square it. Remember, in this formula here, we have this thing being squared, right? So we're going to take that 2 and we're going to square it. So we get 4. And then we're going to take this 1 that we got here to the left and we're going to square it. 1 times 1 is 1. 0 times 0 is 0. Negative 3 times negative 3 
is 9. And then we're going to add these up. Remember, it's the summation, summation, summation. So we're going to add up those 4 plus 1 plus 0 plus 9. So the summation right here, this is the summation of x minus x bar quantity squared. 4 plus 1 is 5, 5 plus 0 0, 5 plus 9, we got 14. If that's the number that goes right there on top. So our standard deviation is the square root of 14 divided by now, how many numbers do we have? Number of data items? There's four numbers. So four minus one on the bottom. So we've got the square root of 14 thirds. So our standard deviation is, uh, let's see, 0 0.16024, 6899. So, Let's round it to the nearest hundredth, 2.16. Okay, this is just the walkthrough of that same thing. I want to look at that as well. Okay, thank you so much for listening. That's range and standard deviation. That is um, our measures of dispersion section. If you remember last time we talked about measures of central tendency, this is measures of dispersion, range, standard deviation. Thanks again for listening. See you next time.